I will match my accomplishments with uh, people with all kind. Of, I, I worked alongside him at TNA Wrestling. I mean, let, let's talk about that. Andy Barton, Dixie Carter, and someone else. A couple, three or four of them in there graduated from Old Miss, and that's why they were there. So the man that hired me was Jeff. When Jeff hired me, he had hired me because I just uh, did a show where I booked him versus Ronnie Killings in Greenville, North Carolina, which is 80 miles south probably southwest of Raleigh, Durham. Uh, and I called it a uh, TNA NWA title match. You know, no problem, no hassle. You know, it was a sold show that I sold to the small town of Greenville's fire department, you know. And when the way I do things, like I said before, is I watch Jeff's dad, I watch Jeff's granddad, you know what I mean, and how they did business. So we go down there in the middle of fucking nowhere and draw... Uh, 850 people Not to bad. see the show and at the time even WWE's attendance was down you know what I mean so just so happens WWE's in, in Raleigh that night they only sold 2300 tickets I sold 850 tickets for this fundraiser the group made a shitload of money the fire department everybody's happy you know what I mean? I didn't beg and say, oh, Jeff, we got history. Can't you come in cheaper? Because I don't do that. You know what I mean? So he's like, uh, they, they ran maybe one house show, and it wasn't even really a house show. They ran two. I think they ran Detroit, and then they ran, uh, it was a pay-per-view, and then they did a pay-per-view in Birmingham area, you know, Alabama. And they didn't, they drew what we drew, <laughs> you know? Jeez. And they were getting ready to run house shows. He's like, what the fuck? How did you, how did you do this? I'm like, what do you mean, how do I do this? I, I, I watched your father. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you guys were dicking around and partying. I watched your dad. I do that shit first, and your grandpa, get to know him. I get to the building early and talk to Eddie Marlin, who was Jeff's grandfather, and, you know, pick his brain and stuff when I was a kid because I want to know this stuff. Handsome Jimmy Valiant told me, the business is about to change. What you're going to learn is going to be invaluable. Take fucking notes, you know. Wish I would have taken notes, but I've never been a note taker. I'm a, I'm a mental note taker, and I guess it worked. So in that event, Jeff's like, we got to have you. And I'm like, ish, I don't want to work there. I don't trust it. You know, I don't trust the situation. I saw that you and your father are at ends. You know what I mean? You're not talking. I don't want to be in that shit. I'm currently working on something with your dad in Puerto Rico. He got us an investor, the Sandy Popo. But I'll tell you what I would like to do, now that you mention this, I would like to work a partnership between TNA and IWA Puerto Rico. Particularly, two guys that I had in mind, two guys that they just signed, was Matt Morgan and that big kid Lance Hoyt. Met them both. Nice guys. Humble guys for big guys. They're fucking giants, though. Mm -hmm. You know? What we needed in Puerto Rico when Victor Quinones died to build the territory back up was big outsider heels, big gringo heels. But those two needed to learn is how to fucking work, you know? So what I was trying to do is put together a deal where you can't run on the island unless you have a license. Miguel Perez had a license. He always kept his license with the Athletic Commission pristine, you know? And... You know, I, I respect that, too, the way they do that, because they don't want outsiders coming in, you know what I mean, and fucking shit up for Puerto Ricans. I mean, come on, it's their island, you know? Yeah, no, definitely not. Yeah. So uh, that's what I want to do. I says, you give me, let's put that together, okay? And those guys being booked by Luke Williams, Savio Vega, Miguel Perez, and working with the likes of those guys, they're going to work down there four days a week. We're going to draw money. Let's go ahead and split the gates, you know what I mean? On a percentage, you know, I'll be the motherfucker that signs the English American contract, handle the money, make sure everything's on the up and up, you know? But TNA didn't want no part of that. They wanted me to work for them as an employee.